Okay, so welcome back to another stream and in this stream I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what I promised that I would show you in the previous one. Anyway, so that's that's the animation for the progressive image loading. If you remember in the previous stream we did progressive image loading for this area of the web page. Um, so it, it looks like this. It takes a while. Okay, so there's the table table looking image and then after the bigger image loads it swaps the images around, right? First you load the bad looking one and then when you get the better one and then you swap them around but you create the illusion of your website loading faster. I just, just watched the previous stream for, for a summary of how all of those things work. And in the last stream I told you that I was going to be finding some sort of animation to like swap between all of swap between these images. I've tried some CSS stuff but I found the solution online by just reading this blog post at Medium by this guy, Per Jansen, I probably butchered the name. Um, Right, so the solution was to just add some CSS that he put here somewhere, um, not filter, um, yeah, he has, yeah, transition, that's it. Um, you're going to co just copy this, go back to IntelliJ, and you're going to paste this in here, but replace filter with background-image, because this sets the background image property. So background image is going to have a transition. You're gonna change this with ease in out because that animation I like more ease in out. And loading uh, the loading property we don't use this, so we might as well just delete it. Okay, um, let's get rid of the semicolon in there. And what this will do is, oh, let's do it one second because transition should be slower, right? Um, like it should blend in rather than just slight like swapping instantly, right? Um, so what this does is when the better image loads in one second it will slowly transition into the other one just blur the new one in and the other one out so let's take a look at the effects of that let's go back to the web page and let's wait it out you're gonna see the uh, the first image loads and then slowly just very slowly the better one but the better one comes in right you saw that right so the better one really, really slowly loads in. All right, I'll let you take a look at it once more. There you go. It loads very slowly, but there you go. This is how you add animations to um, to the thing, to the progressive image loading. And what if what if we use the linear one instead of easing out? Does that make a difference? I mean, it obviously does make a difference, but um, let's see. Yeah. I, I prefer the other one. It's more subtle. Okay, I'm gonna keep that one as is. And yeah, this is progressive image loading done. I didn't think it would be this easy to add some trans transition. Um, what we could also try is, let's try adding this to the class name in here. So um, we're just gonna add the, tra add the transition property. So in here, let's try adding a transition and we're going to copy and paste this thing. I don't think this is going to work, but let's keep it in there just for good measure. Um, so let's remove it from here. Let's see if adding it into the SAS file does uh, allows us to achieve the same behavior. I remember trying something like this before, but no. Oh, okay. We don't have to add it there. We can just add it to the SAS file, which will obviously do... Okay, turns out it will do the same thing. Yeah, I'll keep it there. So I just added this to the SAS file. Um, yeah, that's it. Let's clean this file up. Okay. Right, this is it. And this is how you do it, transition animations. And I will see you in another stream later on. All right, bye.